program 10. The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 10. Lesson topic, The Diving Ducks, Part 4. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Hawa and Ubank. Please, crazy students. Hi, Hi everyone. Leah, I think you are going to tell us the last part of the story. Yes, students. Today, I am going to tell you the last part of the story. Students, what's the story about? Obank, what's the story about? It is about the diving ducks. Yes, about the little diving ducks. Students, what's the story about? Yes, the story is about the little diving ducks, Hawa and Ubang. Do you remember the whole story? Yes, I remember. I also remember. Very good. Please, tell us the story, students. Listen to Hawa and Ubang. Listen. Once upon a time, there were seven little ducks. And they lived with their father and mother. Mother duck taught the little ducks how to swim. The six little ducks learned to swim easily. But... The seventh little duck was afraid of the water, so he didn't learn to swim first. But he finally learned to swim. Yes, he could swim finally. How about the diving? Students, did all the seven little ducks learn to dive? Obank, did all the seven little ducks learn to dive? Oh no, not all of them. Only six of the little ducks learned to dive. How about the seven little ducks, students? Did the seven little duck learn to dive? Tell me again, students. Did the seven little duck learn to dive? No, he didn't. He didn't learn to dive. Why? Why didn't the seven little duck learn to dive, students? Why didn't he learn to dive? Teacher, please ask your students one by one why the seven little duck didn't learn to dive. You have about 30 seconds. teacher and students students did you tell your teacher why the seven the little duck didn't learn to dive did he say he didn't learn because he was afraid to put his head in the water all right the seven the little duck didn't learn to dive because he was afraid to put his head in the water yes he learned to swim but he didn't learn to dive then father duck ordered the seven the little duck to go away yes to go and live with chickens. Students, Father Duck ordered him to do what? To do what, students? Yes, to go away and live with chickens. Students, listen again to what Father Duck said to the seventh little duck. Listen. You, the seventh little duck, you can't dive. So go away, swim across the river and live with chickens. Go, go away. Leah, what happens then? Please tell us. Okay, students. Now, listen to the last part of the story. Listen. Then, the seven the little duck was very unhappy and he went to the river to swim away. All the six little diving ducks were also unhappy. Why? Why were they unhappy? Because they loved their little brother. Students? Why were the six little ducks unhappy?
Hawa? Why were the six little ducks unhappy? Because they loved their brother. Students, why were they unhappy? Yes, the six little diving ducks were unhappy because they loved their little brother and they lined up by the side of the river to watch him go. Oh, poor the seventh little duck. Did he go away? Yes. Sadly, he swam across the river. But just before he reached the other side, a big red apple fell on his head. Oh, fell on his head? Yes, a big red apple fell on his head. What's an apple, yeah? Oh, an apple. Students, do you know what an apple is? Teacher, please ask your students what an apple is. You have about 30 seconds. Thank you, teacher and students. Students, I hope you told your teacher what an apple is. Yes, an apple is... Oh, yes, I know an apple. It's a kind of fruit. You're right. Just before the servant's little duck reached the other side of the river, a big red apple fell on his head. Fell on his head? Yes. Students, what did fall on the head of the servant's little duck? Tell me again, students, what did fall on his head? A big red apple. Yes, a big red apple fell on his head. But students, when did the apple fall on his head? Just before he reached the other side of the river. Students, when did it fall on his head? Yes, just before he reaches the other side. Students, say, just before he reaches the other side. Students, again, say, just before he reaches the other side. Students, now, say, a big red apple fell on his head. Students, now say, just before he reaches the other side, a big red apple fell on his head. Students, again say, just before he reaches the other side, a big red apple fell on his head. All right. Just before the servant's little duck reached the other side, a big red apple fell on his head. Then what happened to him? And then he went down in a perfect dive. Into the river? Yes. When the apple fell on his head, he went down into the river in a perfect dive. He went down into the river? Yes. Students, what happened to the servant's little duck when the apple fell on his head? Hawa, what happened to him? He went down into the river. Students, what happened to him? Yes, he went down into the river in a perfect dive. The students say he went down into the river in a perfect dive. Then? Then... Father Duck said, Look, look, what has happened? Oh, yes, look, here's a fish. Did he catch a fish? Yes, very much to his surprise, the little duck caught a fish. Wonderful. Students, what did the servant's little duck catch? Hawa, what did the servant's little duck catch? A fish, he caught a fish. Students, 
What did he catch? Yes, he caught a fish. Students say he caught a fish. Students say again he caught a fish. Then what did he do? Then the southern little duck turned and swam to his family. To show them the fish he had caught? Yes, to show the others the fish he had caught. That's interesting. Students, why did the southern little duck swim to his family? Hawa, why did he swim to his family? To show them the fish he had caught. Students, why did he swim to his family? Yes, to show them the fish he had caught. I hope he was proud. Of course, because he could die finally. Students, could the servant's little duck die? Tell me again, students, could he finally die? Yes, he could die. So, he caught a fish. Then what did Father Duck say? Then... Father Duck said to the servant's little duck, Well done, well done. Yes, well done, very good. And Father Duck smiled proudly and said to him, You weren't really afraid to dive at all, but you were just afraid to try. Really, he was afraid to try. Students, what was the servant's little duck afraid to do? Hawa, what was he afraid to do? He was afraid to try. Students, what was he afraid to do? Yes, he was afraid to try. The students say he was afraid to try. Students say again he was afraid to try. Students, do you afraid to try? I don't think so. I think that's the end of the story. Yes, that's the end of the story. Do you want to listen again to the last part of the story? Yes. yes. Okay, students, now listen to the last part of the story again. Listen. The servant's little duck, who was unhappy, went to the river to swim away. All the six little diving ducks were also unhappy because they loved their little brother. They lined up by the side of the river to watch him go. Suddenly, the servant's little duck swam across the river. Just before he reached the other side, a big red apple fell on his head, and he went down into the river in a perfect dive. Then, Father Duck said, Oh, look! Look what has happened! Mother Duck also said, Oh, look, he has a fish. Very much to his surprise, the little duck caught a fish, and he turned and swam proudly back to show the others the fish he had caught. Then, Father Duck said, Well done, well done. You weren't really afraid to dive at all. You were just afraid to try. Yes, he was afraid to try. I think the story teaches us that we shouldn't be afraid to try. Yes. We shouldn't be afraid to try to do good things. Students, that is the whole story. What have you learned from the story? Students, please tell your teacher what you have learned from the story after the program. Teacher, after the broadcast, please ask your students one by one what they have learned from the story as a whole. Please follow your teacher's guide. Now, it's time for us to go. Yes, yes it's, it's time, time to go. go. Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. That was English for Grade 7 from the Ethiopian Educational Media Agency. Join us again next week in Program 11. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.